Adam Lerner, and today I want to talk a little bit about off-camera flash using a couple of bare speed lights. Yes, dare I say bare. And what do I mean by bare? Um, does that mean that they're like in the woods and they hibernate in the winter? Yeah, come on, that's really silly. Uh, what I mean is a bare speed light, meaning there's actually nothing on that as a lighting modifying tool. That means that I've removed the stofen. That means that I'm not shooting through or into an umbrella. No softbox, nothing. Just bare speed lights. And you know what? I'm just going to grab a couple just to demonstrate what I mean. All right. For the sake of demonstration, since these are right here, here's a couple of speed lights. This is the Stofen. So I removed that. And I basically took two speed lights, like so. Okay. And, uh,. See that, do that there. And we'll do this over here. We're just having fun, you know, just to make a point here. Okay. And I basically just wirelessly triggered two of these puppies. Okay. Just to do something like that. That's all we did. All right. Uh, now, seemingly that should be uh, as, as simple as as it, as it is, but um, it was actually, let me give you a little bit of story here. Derek Poundstone is uh, a strong man. Uh, he's uh, America's strongest man. Um, he's probably one of a handful of strong men in the world that have uh, this capability. He's a professional competitor. Uh, he's a fitness guru. Um, and he's somebody who I have had the very good fortune to work with and do a number of photo shoots with. Derek is also a cop um, up in uh, Connecticut. And it's kind of interesting because, you know, he's kind of a regular guy. I mean, he's a guy who drives a patrol car and, uh, you know, kind of does regular cop things, works at a police station. Um, the thing that's amazing about him is that he's incredibly driven um, he's very, very, uh, you know, he's a just very disciplined guy. And, um, I think the discipline obviously shows, you know, as him in being a police officer, as well as being a fitness guru. So I wanted to do a quick portrait with him. I was shooting some behind the scenes of a video shoot that was being done with him, but I wanted to take advantage of the opportunity that I was working with him to at least get in one portrait. Now, we didn't have time to like take him somewhere to set up an elaborate backdrop or anything like that. But what I did know is I wanted to get an image of him that really looked strong. And I don't mean strong physically, but I also mean intensity wise. I wanted to get a lot of intensity out of that. And that, this was my resulting image is what I have here. And, and I'm actually really proud of this. I'm really happy with with what happened. Now, let me show you where we started. This was the original image, okay? As you can see, we're in a classroom. Now, there was not a whole lot of room. Right maybe a foot in front of Derek was a row of desks that I was told I couldn't move because the video guys were setting up all this kind of stuff and they literally gave me five minutes while they were setting up their things so I could do my portrait. Um, there was a Connecticut state flag and a an, um, United States flag there. I decided, you know what, let's pull those in there. Let's go for something kind of cool and different. And I literally set up two speed lights on stands, took the, um, the stofans off. I think I might have zoomed them up to like, you know, 85 or 105. I don't exactly remember the power setting, but I was using the 24 to 70 at 70 millimeters. Um, and let me just uh, get that up for you guys here one second. Yep, at F4, um, you know, because I wanted to get a lot, a lot, a lot of detail there. Um, and I was uh, sinking at 1 2 50th of a second. Okay, so let's look at the evolution of this. All right, so I got this image here and I'm like, okay, good. I've got the raw data. I've got Derek nicely lit. We've got some really good edge detail. The background kind of falls off. Background is obviously hideous. You know, I don't really want to see it. I mean, this image was literally taken in a uh, classroom, um, I guess, uh, type room at the, uh, at the precinct. Okay, so now I decide, you know what? Let me blacken out all of the background elements. And 
I looked at this image and I was really happy with it. I mean, it's a little bit skewed. There's a little bit more, you know, black on this side, a relatively easy fix. But as far as kind of bringing the point home of, you know, Derek being, you know, patriotic and, you know, being a Connecticut cop, this really kind of brought all that in for me. But then I realized to myself, you know what, I want to kind of lose the flags and just really isolate his portrait because, you know, as contextual as they may be, they're a little bit distracting. So I got rid of those. I centered him more on a black, you know, background and I got this. And then I decided, you know what, let me just, you know, have a little bit of fun with this. This was kind of my final edit. And then I brought in color effects and I did a little bit of play with it and I went there. And I really love the intensity of this shot. I think that I love the way the light is just kind of grazing across his chest like that. I love kind of like that really like intense look that's on his face. I mean, his hands, they look like freaking baseball gloves or something like that. They're just enormous mitts. Um, so that's really it. I just wanted to uh, show you guys that, you know, oftentimes when you're given a uh, a situation where you don't have a lot of time but you really want to kind of plan a shot you have to work with what you have so I just said to myself you know what I don't care that I'm in a classroom I don't care that the background or there's you know it's just ugly in here that there's nothing to work with all I know is that if I light, light my subject correctly in the way that I want to do for what I'm doing then I can go in there and I can work that image to get the results that I'm looking for and again, all this was, was two SB800s triggered via uh, pocket wizard triggers, um, you know, on, on stands, basically bare. And that's the whole shoot here. So I just wanted to share that with you guys, um, you know, a basic setup. You know, hopefully I'll get to do some of these videos in the field where I can really put these to action and you can kind of see how they go. But um you know, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, that's it for now, and we'll see you soon.